Welcome everyone to another Monday night. We have a very special guest tonight. We have Russ from What in the World with Russ. And tonight we are doing part one of, I don't even know how many parts this might inevitably be. <laughs> However many you want, I guess. <laughs> because I have been getting so many messages from people. I don't know about you, but on my end, I get messages from people on a daily basis about how to use the Cricut, what kind of projects people can make with the Cricut. Um, just so many different questions about people who maybe either got um, a Cricut for Christmas or you know they want to use it to have a small business or they want it for crafts or um, anything like that. So Russ here is, I'm calling you an expert. Russ has been using a Cricut for many, many years. Um, so <laughs> I am very lucky to know Russ and have him here to showcase all of his uh, talent, knowledge, et cetera, with us. Um, so Russ, thank you so much for being here. Russ has his Cricut cam over here and he's gonna show you a design that he's been working on uh, for this stream in particular. But before we begin, I wanna say hi to everyone in the chat and then we're gonna get crafting. Um, also, for anyone that's hopping in and watching the replay or maybe didn't have a chance to watch it live, hello, thank you so much for being here. Um, we're gonna hopefully be talking about different materials that you can use with the Cricut, um, different craft projects, things like that. And then we're also going to be doing some uh, demos for you guys. Um, and then I personally think I'm gonna end up giving away um, in a giveaway the some of the items that I've made. So we'll see what I end up making. Um, Ross, I don't know <laughs> know what uh, you end up you plan on doing with um, your final product, but it's totally up to you. I haven't um, decided. I'm either going to hang it up or I can give it away too. It doesn't matter to me. So yeah. I just I was just thinking it might be fun for people. I like when people see how mm -hmm. people could make it, things. It dep depends on how it turns out. Yeah, right. <laughs> if it's not good, I won't give it away. <laughs> exactly. So before we get started on our cricket talk, I want to say hi to everyone in the chat. Also, I'm sorry that I was a few minutes late. If you just didn't, if you if you did just, not see, just Steve. blame it on Pete. <laughs> no, no, it was definitely my fault. <laughs> Actually, I'm blaming Steve. It was Steve's fault. Yeah, so, Steve. <laughs> um, so Captain Akron, hello. Mike Wheeler, woot woot, can't wait. Awesome. Christine Hickman, Rhonda Lee, hello. Super Fluffy Yeti, Tim Pruitt, hello. Uh, Avery the Cuban American, Karen Cook, Oodle Ali Lane, hello Kate. Uh, Tina McNeil, hello. I'm just gonna end up singing everyone's name. Doreen, <laughs> hello Doreen. Jonathan Chung, Bill Steffen, James Ryan, Surf Bum, here we are again. Joy S, hello Jersey Mike. Jersey Mike, what about our Rangers the other day? Losing in a shootout. Oh, Tim Rempel, hello. And here we are again. <laughs> Glenn Castro, hello. Uh, oh my gosh, James Ryan, thank you so, so much. I, and that's a good reminder. Um, I'm going to be doing for um, anyone who's a member, please, it's like not obligated at all, obligatory. Um, it's just for fun to do um, a painting stream. So we're going to be doing it. Um, I'm hoping to keep it consistent on every the last Friday of every month. So I'm planning on doing it this Friday um, at 5 p.m. And if you can't make it, you would always watch the replay, but we're gonna be doing a paint night. Um, Ann Cook, hello, welcome. Jumbo, Nick, Magical News Live. Donna Jaworski, LJ. Uh, I'm gonna catch up because I know that I'm so far behind. Herschel, Linny, hello. And if you guys have any questions, oh, it's gonna jump, it's gonna jump. Oh, there we go. It. <laughs> I don't even know where I was. <laughs> I was like so, so far behind. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea either. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back up. I'm scrolling. Um, if you guys have any questions, though, be sure to tag me or Russ, um, because it's so much easier to see and in the chat. So, uh, if you have any questions for us, let us know about crickets, about crafting, anything. Ray J, hello, welcome, Wendy B. I'm interested in seeing how a cricket works. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Hockey season is up and running. Yes, exactly. I love hockey. If you guys don't know that, I'm a big hockey fan. Zibbity Doodad. Patrick, guys, subscribe to Zibbity Doodad. He's doing an awesome stream with PJ tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, Jesse Mouse, hello. I'm trying to. Nathan Breda, hello. Do, do, do. <laughs> Just don't mind my singing. Jake Rubs, <laughs> hello. Do, do. Caitlin Christine, 
hi, I just opened my small shop and use a Cricut. I'm super excited. That's awesome. I cannot wait to hear about your small shop. Movie Mania, Nick, if you guys have a small shop, let us know. I would love to, to check it out. Russ also does um, graphic design and amazing things like that. Kit Stahlberg, hello. Amber E. Uh, Mizantre, hello. Hi from Australia. That's so awesome. Magic the Mouse TV, hello. Cricket Cam, yes, we got our Cricket Cam <laughs> ready. Uh, do, 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 do. Faith Hope and Disney, aka Barbara, no problem. I love Ninja Mode. Uh, is Russ's Cricket named Jiminy? <laughs> <laughs> No, Stacy, I have not named him, but that sure. Mama <laughs> Mickey, hello. Kate Atwood, I feel like I need to name it Jiminy now. <laughs> Teresa Martin, hello. Uh, Noah, welcome. Sorry, guys, I'm catching up. Uh, Tina Marie, hello. Got to get some stuff done. No worries. Uh, D D Disney Baker, hello. Welcome. Dad Builds Chris, the live place Dean. Hello, guys. Um, at as always, every single stream, I have the link to the live place down in my description. Dean has like a bajillion family-friendly live streamers now on the liveplace.com. So you want to make sure that you could check that out because there's a lot of really fun people there. So many of my friends, Russ, you stream on the live place. I stream on the live place. My friends over at Disney that stream on the live place, Resort TV One, Donna, Nick from Magical News Live. So many amazing people are over there. Uh, Leanne Sherbick, hello. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. I know it's late for some some people, so I really appreciate um, you guys being here. Timothy Rainwaters, hello. Oh, <laughs> it just skipped again. So uh, I'm going to scroll up just really quickly, see if I could catch anyone else. Um, Jay Nashville, hello. Katrina, welcome. Uh, Stacy, when I get one, I'm naming mine Jiminy. Awesome. So, guys, if I've missed you, let me know. Tag me. Alyssa and Neil, welcome, because it's already 9-11, and I would love to start talking about crickets. <laughs> um, so, Russ, you know a lot more than me, but I like to <laughs> attribute a lot of my knowledge to TikTok, uh, that <laughs> TikTok, crafting TikTok. Um, so, if you guys are not familiar with what I a cricket is a cricket machine. Um, I'm going to actually present this very quickly. It's a die cutting machine. And pretty much what it does is you have um, it, you, you could download an online um, software that is called the Cricut Design Space. Um, it's very similar if you have um, like a silhouette or another die cutting machine. Meg is not the TikTok queen. <laughs> I make like one TikTok every three months now. So there I am, the queen of TikToks. Um, Pete is very happy with me right now. So you better bring your Uncrustables and your toasty warm seat to Steve. Uh, it's it's going to be awesome, guys. You want to make sure that you do not miss that stream when Pete McDevitt is finally in the hot seat himself. So we're I, I took one for the team. Um, but I digress. Uh, crickets are something that you can pretty much computerize cuts and uh, there's little needles, um, I mean, uh, blades, they kind of like needles. Um, but Russ, you tell a better description. I was just blah, 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 so. So basically a cricket is a cutter plotter. It's, it's, what, it's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And um, you can use it, you can, like like Meg was saying, there's a, there's a program that comes with it, but it basically works with um, shapes, basic, basic shapes. And you can turn it into uh, a cuttable image that then you can cut certain medium with. Um, I have the Cricut Maker, which also does a few extra things. It will score things. Uh, it will um, uh, also draw uh, things. Um, there are a bunch of different attachments that you can get for it and that do different things, that cut different things. Uh, you can only cut certain things up to... Uh, two millimeters thick, so it's not like you can stick like a sheet of aluminum in there, and it's it's not going to cut that. Um, you know, not aluminum foil possibly, um, but you know, thin materials, so paper thin. Mm -hmm. So it's mo m mostly designed for cutting for cards, uh, cutting for vinyl, for like T-shirts. Like this is a, a shirt that I made, um, not with this Cricut, but with a larger version of the Cricut, um, and um, so that's how I learned. I, I learned how to use, uh, I, I've designed vector art uh, through my graphic design, and then you can transfer that into your program 
and make it into uh, whatever you want. So mm -hmm. great explanation, Russ. I also <laughs> um, hi hi to Lawrence Travels. Uh, Jeff and Angela does our dream, and I had such a good laugh because originally Lauren, when I first saw a cricket, I was like a cry cut. Oh. Yeah. And so I think a lot of people think that too. Uh, Rai guys here, I'm psyching right now. Love Meg's artsy streams. Well, we like doing them. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. My mom kept saying the whole time, like uh, the whole day today, she's like, are you so excited for your cricket stream? And I'm like, yeah, I'm excited. Um, so as Russ pointed out, there's a couple different um, makes of the cricket. I'm not as well versed in other um, machines. So uh, in terms of like a silhouette or other brands, but now they have a small machine called the Cricket Joy. It's yep. um, it really only cuts. Um, it's like probably this big. It only. Yeah, I looked at one. I looked at one today. It's it's probably about five to six inches. Yeah, can. it's. I think a lot of people who make cards is like literally the perfect size for size yes. for card making. It does cut vinyl. Um, and then you have the Cricut Explore Air Two. Oh, Amber just said she got the Joy. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and then you have the Cricut Explore Air Two, which is the newer version of the Cricut Explore Air. Um, and then you have the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Explore Air Two. Pretty much cuts everything except for like fabric, um, wood, uh, it doesn't engrave things. And that's what the Cricut Maker does. It um, You have special blades, like different housing that you could put in. Um, so for the Cricut Explorer Air 2, you have like a deep cut blade, which is this black blade housing here. I have a blade, blade step to it. And then um, you have a silver blade, which is your fine cut point, uh, blade. So if you're cutting vinyl, you want to use this silver blade here. And a lot of times what I've done with ears, because I primarily use them. Um, I actually do have an Etsy shop where you, if you want to see some of the designs that I've made, um, I use this a lot for uh, foam and other things that need like a deeper cut. But I primarily use it for foam. It has a, oh, look how dirty that is. <laughs> I really, I didn't even realize it has so much glitter on here because I was doing a uh, glitter craft foam. But uh, if you're only going to be using, I keep like accidentally getting it stuff. It's like, they're, they're kind of magnetic too. So like things just stick to them yeah. sometimes. Um, but primarily- well, they're designed to just slide in and, and yes. make the cold. So, like here, yeah. this one is my scoring bit. Oh, let me present you. Um, and it's just got a wheel on the bottom of it, and so it will score your paper, uh, so you can you know make a good fold, um, or you can also score it to uh, like a, on an angle uh, if you want to be able to you know then see you know mm -hmm. where like if you want to curve or whatever like that. That's what this is for. Oh my gosh, I. I'm getting, I have such a laugh at this comment. <laughs> this, so this is like graduate school level arts creativity. <laughs> it's very it, not it, like, once you understand what you're doing, I, I know because I've been in this beginner phase, I think for a long time, but it's very, very overwhelming when you just get this machine, you're like, okay, what do I do now? Uh, so <laughs> and, yeah. Again, I've been using, I've been doing this for a while. This machine, like the crickets to me are dumb. <laughs> like, and that's the only word I can think of. It's, it's mm -hmm. dumbed down so that it's much easier to use. Mm -hmm. um, and it is designed so that anyone can learn to pick it up. Um, the software is very easy to figure out, very easy to use um, compared to other machinery that I've used in, the, yeah. you know, in my career. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is, but, but again, you can do so much with a cricket. It's um, very user friendly. Yes. Very uh, so user friendly. For people that like, I'm not a graphic designer. I mean, I do have an arts background, mm -hmm. but you don't need an arts background to know how to use this. Like, so no. what I've done creatively, and then uh, Lauren asked a really good question about the prices, which we could get into uh, shortly, but what I like to do is I'll make designs or I'll draw things in Procreate on the iPad and I'll send those designs into the Cricut design space. And so then I could cut my own drawings. Um, I could, I do that a lot for my ears. So a lot of what you see on my ears, I've drawn digitally and then I've inserted them into the design space to then cut. 
Um, yeah. Alyssa and Neil says, does this machine play the trumpet? I hope not. I don't want to. <laughs> no, does but it can make some interesting know? noises. <laughs> yeah. If you guys miss the Give Kids the World uh, ear making uh, like thing, I don't want to say auction thing, but when we had the challenge of making ears in one hour, you could see me going <laughs> back and forth, and I kept muting because it went. Yeah. Um, but Lauren asked a really good question about how much are they, and there's a big range of how much they cost based on as Russ explained the variety of materials that cut um and so like a, the cricket maker is the most expensive model and it it really ranges um between what i've seen at the lowest price from the maker is maybe like 350 yeah <laughs> and, now, and and cricket loves to you know sell those attachments so <laughs> Yep. There, there are a lot of, and I have a few, I have a few other things that I'll show that mm -hmm. I have some of those things that makes it a little easier. You don't have to have. <laughs> yep. I mean, I think if you're going to be utilizing all of the functions fully, then mm -hmm. you do want to pick them up. Um, and then there's also something called uh, Cricut Access, which is sort of a built in design or um there are uh, like thousands and thousands of options between fonts images oh katrina got a bundle i katrina you probably got the explore air 2 so the explore air 2 um i've seen on sale for about two hundred dollars and i think the cricket joy is i don't maybe like one is it 150 is it less than that i'm thinking so i'm, I'm trying to think what i saw at target today I, because yeah. they actually have them on sale right now. Um, mm -hmm. And so it's, you know, it, it's not a whole lot off, but it, you know, they are on sale right now, if you can find them, because they, they were sold out at my target. But. Yeah. And that's a really good point. They're sold at pretty much any craft store. Mm -hmm. I like to search um, if you are, because I like deals. Um, if you are a, a Target um, red card holder, you get an additional 5% off. Um, watch Joann's for coupons. A lot of times the stuff does not go on sale at Joann's. Um, you can't use coupons on the Cricut supplies. But mm -hmm. what I was going to say is there's a program. And then I did see someone had a good question too about the app. Um, but Pretty much, <laughs> if you subscribe to the Cricut Access, which is about $10 a month, um, or you could pay for the year and get it a little bit cheaper, you get 10% uh, off of machines, um, anything like that. So if you are interested in purchasing one, I would say maybe do that, because yeah. that's probably where you're going to get your biggest discount. Pay for the month, pay $10, cancel the subscription, if you, <laughs> unless you like it, then uh, keep the subscription. You get thousands and thousands of fonts, images, Miguel Benitez, Miguel, I need to have a conversation with you because last week, sorry for my tangent, <laughs> last week we talked about uh, the Hercules versus Aladdin debate. And when is that going to happen? <laughs> because um, I'm still waiting for it to happen. Uh, Lauren says, is it more for small shops? So I think it depends on what you're going to use it for. Yeah. And uh, so like Russ pretty much has his whole business based around it. Um, so if you're doing it for a business, I would highly recommend it for the investment. Um, I've been making, so I wish I brought more stuff that I made. I've been making really cool shadow boxes. Um, and I'll have, maybe I, I can run um, and get it very quickly if Russ, if you're, if you're talking, but um it's so cool to do personalized gifts and pretty much everything I gave for Christmas this year was personalized. And that's what we were going to do um, some demonstrations. But mm -hmm. um, I think before I go on too much of a ramble, <laughs> because I do get very excited when I talk about crafts <laughs> and do making things because I'm very passionate about making things. And I think many of us are. Um, and I do want to show you guys what kind of materials that you can use. Um, we're going to do, I think, more parts of this <laughs> because <laughs> I think it's very exciting for me to just talk about. But also so many people have lots of really amazing questions. Yeah. Um, and so 
I really, I, I asked Russ, I said, can we talk about materials today? Because there's so many materials that you can use. Um, and so I actually just have a blank wood piece here. I was going to paint it, use it as a coaster. Um, you can use iron on HTV heat transfer vinyl on wood, or you could use permanent vinyl on wood. So I have two options if I wanted to do that. Um, I have this permanent vinyl here. Cricut permanent vinyl. There's a lot, there's a lot of different brands that you could try yeah. out. <laughs> so many. And, and just from my experience, the cricket is fine. Mm -hmm. The best stuff that I've found is called Easy Weed. Okay. Um, which is actually what I have. I'm going to, and this is the iron on that I'll be using. Okay. Uh, but it's it's called Easy Weed. It's because it's much easier to weed. That makes <laughs> Because I'm, I'm also going to kind of show you guys a little easier way to weed tonight, too. So. I love it. And for tiny <laughs> times, I get very frustrated. People are always like, weeding is so therapeutic. And I'm like, no, it's the worst. <laughs> it really I can't even melody. Hello, welcome. And there, I, there are I, tricks to that, too. So I I personally find that weeding heat transfer vinyl is so much easier than the permanent vinyl. It is. Um, but I, I keep experimenting with different brands. I think it's really to each his own. People yeah. have different preferences. Um, I've just found that I like some of the, the cricket vinyl. I think mm -hmm. I'm like one of the only people. So Tina asked a really good question. And I, <laughs> I feel so silly when I talk about it. But people use the word weeding a lot. So Russ, why don't you explain that? I'm going to go get one of my examples. Okay. Well, how about how about this? Since it's already almost nine thirty, I'm going to go ahead and cut the thing that I have. Um, I think I don't. I can't really show you now because uh, well, I have I have my screen shared, but whenever she gets back, she can she can show what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this that I have um, and get started, and then I'll just show you guys what, what about weeding. Basically, weeding is taking away the stuff that you don't need. Um, so you're weeding out the things um, similar to weeding plants. So that's what weeding is. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to go away from this screen for a second. If you want to show my screen, you can. Um, okay. I'm back. I'll just show this really quick. <laughs> I okay, go ahead. Um, so something that I've done, let me get off weeding. <laughs> I don't know what I missed. And I'm sorry if I'm out of breath. Um, but what I've done, one of the things that I really enjoy doing what did Ryan say? If I'm weeding, I'm not cricketing. <laughs> Jeez. So one of the things that I really enjoy doing is drawing pictures of people. Um, and this one is of my parents. And I cut the back of it as well as the front of it. And it's a picture of my parents. But it's um, in, the, in the back. It says, you're my greatest adventure. I put some faux snow in there. It's backwards. So um, that's been something I really enjoy doing is uh, these shadow boxes. And I like doing. <laughs> Let's just not appreciate this comment for a second. <laughs> I feel like I got weeded out tonight by Meg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's something I really enjoy doing, taking pictures, um, mm -hmm. drawing them out of people that I love and then filling it with stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, Russ, should I, what, 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 uh, blah, what are words? What screen <laughs> are we oh, looking I, at? I've got it shared if you see the, with the Mickey Mouse. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Add to the there screen. There you go. So, so this is the file that I'm working on. So I designed this in my design software, which I use uh, Adobe Illustrator mm -hmm. um, because it's a vector uh, creating, you know, you can create vector files and illustrations and things like that. You don't have to use this. I then transfer it and make it into an SVG file, uh, which is a vector file. Um, this um, this program will actually work uh, with JPEGs, with um, you know other type of files, but an SVG works the best because it's already set up for lines and points, um, which I know that's technical jargon, but um, that's yeah, these are hard. These words are actually. <laughs> This is the this is the you know this is basically the easiest way to do it, um, but you can take a you can take an image, drag and drop it, and then set it up, 
um, in my program, it already sets up the, the, the lines and things. Then all I got to do is drag and drop it and then I'm ready to cut. Uh, so it's much faster for me. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. So first off, I've got my mat here, which you have I, to have. I have a quick question too. Okay. So um, where can people find SVG files um, and what kind of SVG files can people use with the Cricut? Like okay. So you can basically, if like say you can even, you can Google an S SVG file. So say I want a Mickey Mouse and then just put SVG in your Google search. Mm -hmm. You may or may not get a free file because a lot of the times people charge for these um, because they are cut files. Um, but you can go in, if you can also just search uh, like a black and white clip art um, because then you will, the, the program will find those black and white lines and cut mm -hmm. it for you. Um, <clears throat> you can also, uh, you know, obviously if you need customized ones, you can contact me because I can make them for you because <laughs> that's part of my business. Um, but that's basically, you can, you can find them just about anywhere. The, the, uh, access thing you were talking about also has a library of SVG files. Um, so yeah, it's, it, so, so you're basically like you would have a word document. It's a, you know, dot doc or you know that's that type of file yeah um this is that's what i'm talking about is it's a dot svg file um is awesome. what you're looking for. So, so yes tina s as in sam v as yes. in victor and g as in gary <laughs> i don't know <laughs> jesse says she gets hers on etsy yes a lot you of them etsy? a lot of them are found on etsy lauren wants to know are you on instagram russ yes might need some things in the future. <laughs> um, so basically, Wait, what I I, something? what's an art lock? Did I miss what? it? What is an art lock? Weeding art lock adhesives library of SVG files. Sure is clear that this is all very simple. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jonathan Chong says, make sure the black and white. Sorry, I'm just like trying to get paint off me. Um, if anyone else does this, I like literally <laughs> just like wipe paint on my other hand. I'm like, it's dry now. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's just hashtag just artist things. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, when you go into uh, the design space, Cricut design space, if it's an image that you've pulled off the internet, um, it gives you a few settings and you can actually make the black lines um, a little bit smoother by increasing some of the numbers that are in the settings. Right. Um, Donna wants to know, how do you know where to place your design in the grid? Okay. So I will, I'm going to do that right now. So yeah, I've already got mine yeah. set and I've actually got it already flipped because I'm using uh, vinyl and the way that it cuts it, you have to mirror it because what you, what you want is the mirror image for when you lay it down, that way it'll be straight. It'll and also, the right, the right orientation. what's really important about the HTV or the heat transfer vinyl iron on, you want to make sure that you're cutting on the right side. So yes. I think that's very tricky for permanent vinyl. This is just a scrap that I have. This is this grid part for permanent vinyl. You want to cut on the colored side. Yes. And then for the heat transfer vinyl or the um, iron on, you want to have the shiny side faced down on the mat. Or the or the vinyl side up. Yep, exactly. Uh, because there's a transfer sheet on the other side that then we will use to weed off and then lay it onto our, our medium that we're going to put it on. <laughs> so usually rule of thumb for placement um, for me is I usually try and put my, my design straight up as far as in the corner as I can. But then I like to leave it off about a quarter of an inch just in case um, it gets too close to the edge um, because you don't want, you know, you don't want a straight edge on your, on your, um, your image. Mm -hmm. And so I've already got mine set up for uh, uh, at uh, 0 0.25 in my X and in my Y. So I'm up, up as far as I can go in the corner. And again, on my sheet here, I've already got it set all the way to the corner. And so the, it will start cutting in this corner first. So okay, what I'm going to do now quickly, if oh, you, if you show that again, so this will be the, the cut where I have it set up to cut first. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and so it will find wherever it's supposed to go. But this is home. So this corner becomes home. And you, you'll learn that once you get, you know. E.T. E will go home. He will go home. <laughs> so I've already got it all set up here. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click make it up here at the top. And so now it's going to show me the mat. And so it shows where, um, you know, my corner up here in the top uh, left is my home spot where these th three little dots are. Oh, no, um, you don't need to know how to use math. That math is not required. No. Also, hi, Rob Fuzz. <laughs> not, not unless you're getting advanced. <laughs> Donna says, um, Russ, I'm going to need an in-person tutorial someday. I'll cook dinner for you in exchange for a lesson. <laughs> that sounds like a really good deal. Well, and like I say, we're, we're kind of rushing through things right now because we've got 30 minutes um, to do this. Uh, we are going to take some other times and we are going to like this coming Saturday on my show. We're going to do, we're going to make stickers. And I think we'll set it up to where we'll make projects. And if yeah. you guys have a project you want to learn how to, how to make, let us know. And so we, we can work on that and, and show you guys. I like the so. idea of doing that just for me, for, uh, you know, because <laughs> Russ was like, well, what do you want? And I've been asking Russ for a long time. I said, like, we need to know how to do cricket lessons. Mm -hmm. I said, you should do a stream. And he's like, well, what do you want to learn? And I said, teach me how to make stickers. <laughs> Well, at first she's like, teach me everything. And I was like, well, that's yeah. going to take a while. <laughs> Russ knows everything. I'm like trying to decide what I should make. <laughs> I still don't know. Because honestly, it really doesn't take very much time to cut the things. Yeah. It takes a lot of time to plan what you want to do and then to weed the designs. Right. Yeah, actually, actually cutting it isn't a problem. Oh, Rhonda has a really good idea, and maybe we mm -hmm. could do this um, at yeah, some point. Rhonda and I talked about that too. So yeah, give us materials list, and we can all make it together. Actually, what would really be so cool is if um, my brain is just like, let's do something all together, where like someone makes everyone makes one thing, and then we could all put it together in one piece. But mm -hmm. Piglatruski, hello, Christine. We could probably do that somehow. Yeah, I feel like that I could design the files and then send them to everybody. That would be cool. Um, okay, so with this with this mat, you have a limit of twelve by twelve inches. Okay, now the machine will not cut all the way to twelve by twelve. So there's a there's a a, a uh, there's like about a one inch leeway that it it wants to give you because it won't go that far. The the blade does not move that far. So I've already cut my vinyl uh, 10 by 10 by 12 to fit this. And so you see on my uh, my screen here that he, he's a little bit less than 10, a little bit more than 11. Um, so we've already got that set up. I already know that that's going to fit. So now I'm going to go to my cut screen. I'm sorry, guys, I can't see the chat at the moment. Um, there are set base materials that you can set up as your favorites. And so right now I'm going to do vinyl. There's a huge long list. Um, and I'm going to just leave it at my default pressure because it's set up that way. Now I'm going to go load my mat. Oh, you know what I should do is I've been putting this off for like, I don't know, two months now. Is that <laughs> I was making a little ornament for my aunt and I made this little elephant out of resin. Mm -hmm. And I was supposed to put her name on it, but I just never did. So maybe that's part of what I can do tonight. <laughs> My mom would be so happy. Jane Nashville says, we have an old, old cricket. Yes, my brother's girlfriend's mom has one. And um, it's so cool to see. It, it really, it just cuts paper pretty much. Um, Russ, I'm going to present, present this. Well, I was just going to say, rather than do that, present the cricket can. Because I'm going to yeah. load it. Because they won't, they don't need to see what, what buttons I'm pushing. Guys, guys, this is a cricket cam now. What? So I'm gonna move. So you load your mat here, and I kind of hard to do with one hand. Um, so I'm gonna load my load my mat, and uh, need to go back to my screen here real quick. And I think I'm just gonna make um, a what is it called guys i'm having such a hard time with words right now today um i'm gonna make a coaster that just says it's kind of fun to do the impossible and i'm gonna put a little um mickey head there 
So this, is what, this is what the screen looks like when you're cutting it um, while your machine is detecting it. Detecting yes, yes. the, um, what material, no, the tool. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm looking for a Mickey head. And with crickets, the internet is your best friend. Well, the other cool thing is that it's Bluetooth. It runs on Bluetooth. Um, yes, so someone, I actually didn't get, um, get back to that comment of someone had asked about the app. And so Cricket actually does have an app that you can use on an iPad, um, on your phone. So if you want to make a quick cut, well, you've literally named him Jiminy. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the Lauren, the biggest resin tip that I can tell you is I wear a full face respirator mask. Um, safety is the biggest thing because uh, resin is very, very dangerous. So I use um, really specific gloves um, and then also a full face respirator and goggles. So, yeah, I'm not a resin, you know, uh, pro, but I have dabbled in it. <laughs> Actually, if you guys have made an order on my Etsy shop, you might have gotten um, a keychain that I made. Do you recommend doing it away from pets? So that's the thing about the mats is that they are very sticky. And if you are like me and you shed everywhere, because I have long red hair and I know that it's my hair because it's red, sometimes they end up on my mat and I have to clean them. Um, Russ, I think that's another one that we should talk about is yeah. cleaning mats because that's a big one for me. I'm um, just cleaning things. I'm just sorry. I'm just like trying to measure out my stuff. And I think that, maybe I'll make this just a, a tad bit smaller. And that's what we talk about with the noise. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's it's loud whenever the, the mat is moving a lot. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's not too bad. No, not at all. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So I also think another one that we should do is talk about slicing, welding, attaching, and flattening, because I think those are some of the most confusing things uh, when you first start. Yeah. And then you don't truly know what it is until you actually know what it is. That Those are kind of more graphic design questions. Okay. Um, Guys, we're going to be learning graphic graphic design with our cry cuts. Well, and I'm kind of thinking that probably needs to be its own show. Yes, totally. I agree. Because Someone said, make a sticker saying holidays happy. We can make it <laughs> I can make it happen. Okay. I'm going to, I have to do, um, I'm going to cut some of my, boom. I'm just off to the side. It's actually, if you um, watch, I'm not a huge fan of like ASMR things, but if you do like that, um, watching videos with the cricket and uh, just listening to them uh, cut things is, I would say, fairly therapeutic. All right, so that's done if you want to okay. come back. Oh gosh, I hit the wrong screen. <laughs> And um, you can take this out now, too, because it's done. Oh, no. Let me remove it. We're back. Hello. Okay. So here, let me turn this back around now. Oh, my gosh, Chris, I wish I had a 3D printer, but I don't have one. <laughs> I, that's probably going to be my next big purchase. I am so fascinated with that. Um, I've actually done a little bit of work with one. Um, I should probably just cut a little piece. Um, because my our, my public library actually has one, and I you, w was able to use it. Um, but it's my public library is closed because of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So the mats themselves come with different stickiness. Oh, okay. So I'm going to present this screen. Okay, and so this one here I'm using is just the light grip. Um, yeah, but they have a heavy grip. They've got medium size. I mean, there's a bunch of different types. 
Um, I actually have a knockoff one of uh, yeah. not, the, not the Cricut brand, but. And okay. the best thing you can do is as soon as you're done with it, cover it back up with the plastic. Yep. You know, you want to get all the pieces off that don't belong. and then I also learned that the hard way because when I initially got it, I was like, let me just throw this out. No. <laughs> and you want to keep those. You yeah. really, really want to keep it. Um, well, I, here's another little little pro tip for you. If um, when you use your, your uh, um, transfer vinyl, once you're finished with it, save the backing because you can reuse that in the case that you've lost your cover. Ooh. Recover your mat. That's a really good tip. Um, I also use that for masking in the case whenever I'm doing uh, um, multiple layers of vinyl and things. You can use it for masking. Oh, uh, Patrick just said, Russ also makes amazing hats. Just ask. I, I used to, Patrick. I don't have the embroidery machines anymore. I don't have the equipment that I used to have. You can make um, heat transfer vinyl ones. Yes, you can. So if you so, do want to make Oh, Donna said, well, there's one thing I did wrong. I know, right, Donna? It's like the second you <laughs> you accidentally throw something away, you're like, oh, well, of course. Uh, I wasn't supposed to do that. So Russ is actually using um, a, like a light screen or a light whatever... Um, for like a tracing paper, like I don't yeah. know what's the technical. Word I think it's just that. a light pad. Yeah, a light pad, uh, and that tends and to make it a little bit easier for weeding. Yes, and what I usually do is I start at the corner, and I closest to me, and I and I go away from me with it, and so I just go around the edges, get all the bulk pieces off first. And again, you know, this design was is fairly simple, so you know you don't have a whole lot of weeding you got to do, and and you you can save yourself a whole lot of work if you uh, design your uh, your thing <laughs> with not a whole lot of cut lines. And I think I might have just ripped it, but that's okay. I can. I it. like. I always get so frustrated weeding things. Um, so I did my little cut. Um, then if you are doing something, Russ actually, because he's doing uh, the heat transfer vinyl, he doesn't need something called transfer paper, tr a transfer yeah. sheet. Um, so because I'm using uh, the permanent vinyl, I'm going to need uh, a transfer sheet to help uh, transfer the uh, writing once I weed it from this carrier sheet to my transfer sheet, so then I could put it onto my little coaster here. So it now sounds what, what, you, very what are you using to do that? What my what are you using as your transfer sheet? I got this really big roll from Amazon. It's got grids on it, um, and I I actually really enjoy it. That's the only one of the Cricut stuff that I did not like. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, what brand do you use? I use Wide Rule Masking Tape. Yes, I've heard people use painter's tape too, but I feel like it's more expensive to use that. Well, painter's tape can be, well, and they make even more expensive stuff that we used to have at the shop, but wow. painter's tape can, it doesn't always pull the, your your vinyl off. Yeah. It's not always sticky enough. Um, but you also have to be careful because that transfer or that uh, permanent vinyl sticks to everything. Yep. And so you have to be careful with... Uh, how sticky your tape is because you may or may not be able to get it off. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I feel like it's a hit on this. there's a lot of experimentation, which is what I found yes. with having a cricket and uh, learning how to really use one because it's a lot of personal preference. It's a lot of what works for you might not work for me. Like mm -hmm. I don't, um, I don't use the cricket, um, tools anymore i have gotten um where did it go i almost closed my oh it's right here i almost closed my computer um <laughs> i use this little felt yes, those are perfect yep for um so that way it doesn't scratch your designs um i also use this little needle tool that mm -hmm. has this end um it comes with two and it's from the dollar tree mm -hmm. 
And those are my favorite weeding tools. And uh, I don't think it could get any better than that. Well, now I have the Cricut brand ones just because it came with the kit, but it's, yeah. you can, I also have a thing of dental tools. Oh my gosh. Right? So you have the little hook that you can, your little picker that you can pick your things up with. And then also have the scraper as well, uh, similar to your, your little pink ones. Yep. Um, and then, and then you also want an exacto knife to be handy in case it didn't cut right. Mm -hmm. Hi cat. Welcome. Hey cat. Avery says, what does a pirate steal in his spare time? Art. <laughs> Jay Nashville says, I just pay others to do it for me. Sometimes <laughs> you meet people that really like to craft. And I know my friend Kat really likes to craft as well. Um, and it's just something that we really enjoy doing. And we torture ourselves sometimes. <laughs> it happens. Well, you know, I used I, you know, I used to do this for a living. I don't know how you didn't like I would rage quit. Like <laughs> one of the video games, like I'm I would throw my controller. I would be well, done. and then of course too, we would do them on large scale. You know, I like could not we, imagine we would put the vinyl numbers on jerseys and you know do hundreds and hundreds of shirts at a time. No, and all of that has to be done by hand. Like there's not a machine that does that. You have to do that by mm -hmm. hand. Um, and then we, you know we we would also screen print and things like that, which is a whole other. Whole I know other I want to learn how to screen print so badly. It's it's a mess. I think I just need a new blade. I might have to recut this. I'll cut a new piece. That's me. A lot of his experimentation. Mm -hmm. What works, what does not. <laughs> but then it's an easy, oh my gosh, it's already 951. This is yep. what happened the other time where I didn't get anything done. <laughs> Which, by the way, I don't know if you saw my my painting from the other time is hanging on my wall now. I'm um, I I see it now. <laughs> <laughs> I was so delayed. I'm trying to get my um, design space to load. It's mm -hmm. like, uh, no, thank you. Don't want to work today. I hate when that happens. <laughs> it's like on stream days, my computer. Like <laughs> when you were getting onto to the um to the stream. I was mm -hmm. like, of course, now is the time that uh, my computer is going to lag and freeze. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, I think that might've been why I couldn't get on before because it was not. Okay. okay. Yeah, like my whole screen froze. So. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, I would like to cancel my cut. I think that's everything. So there's my first piece. So. Ooh, let me. Russ did that so quickly. <laughs> I can't even tell Again, you. It's, it's flipped because I'm I'm going to be putting on something else. Now yeah. I also have color pieces that I've made, and here's a here's a little tip for you. Um, now I'm I'm usually I, I'm actually going to not be using vinyl for this next thing because I'm actually going to be putting this on on paper. Um, I'm, I'm making somewhat of a cricket painting with this. Ooh. Um, <laughs> so here's here's something new you can you can. Play with me if you want to. Uh, yes, you know, play around with this. things. Um, so the heat transfer vinyl does attach to paper. Um, you have to be careful about what type of paper you use, but you can do it. I'm actually going to use a piece of the watercolor paper. Um, oh, that's a good idea. Because you know, it's thick, it's basically cardboard, um, and so you know it will end up on here. But I've also cut. Well, I haven't cut yet. I've got um, colored cardboard that I've printed. Well, it's actually cardstock. And I printed my colors out into my blocks so that I can cut my pieces. So the yellow will go, you know, it's big enough to here for here. I've got his face, I've got his shorts. So I'm going to cut these now on my Cricut and then we'll inlay into the vinyl and then press it all on. Okay, that's not I feel like I'm learning so much. Don't mind it in the background. <laughs> so loud. So here's what I need to do. I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need it anymore. Go away. Also, if anyone ever own, uh, like orders anything from, like, say Russ or from me, 
Now you know, like literally it's taken me an hour to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> and, oh, someone wants to know, hold on. I see, uh, Meg, may I ask Russ a non-related art question? Russ, do you use a drawing tablet at all? That was from Chris, Dad Builds. Uh, I do, I mean, I have, I have one somewhere. <laughs> uh, are you talking about for graphic design? I'm assuming that. But that's also, that is do, art related. So. I do not. Yeah, I was going to say it is art related. <laughs> I do not. I use uh, everything is just uh, my mouse. Point and click with my mouse. So That's so crazy to me. I use an Apple Pencil only because it's the only <laughs> thing closest to what I, uh, I could figure out. Um, mm -hmm. And I just, I don't know how people do it with a mouse. Like, props to you. Anthony, hello, welcome. Well, those drawing tablets are expensive. And so I had to learn without one. So. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Uh, I primarily, I, I enjoy painting. Um, that's, uh, painting and photography are my preferred mediums. Don't mind the cricket cutting in the background. Um, yeah. Ooh, it's done. <laughs> So now you'll get to see too how the cricket can cut card or cut uh, cardstock because that's mainly what it's designed for. Yes. So a lot of people use it to make cards, and uh, actually, I feel like people really buy it for one reason or another. There's a lot of people that have T-shirt businesses, mm -hmm. or um, for people that um, make cards, or for people that. Are like me and use it for literally everything. <laughs> I use it so much. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna cut. Oh, my favorite part is when you put in a new blade and then it's not hard to weed it. And it's just like, oh, hold on, I gotta show. Oh, I muted myself accidentally. <laughs> I was too excited. Like, look, it's normally, you can't see this. Normally, it's so hard to weed, but it's, like, literally just coming off. You can't see it. I'm not doing a good job. Don't mind me. I'm just going to go back to Russ's screen. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, you know, for people that, like, I really don't enjoy weeding. Um, it's yeah. something that actually gives me a lot of anxiety because a lot of times I'll mess up and I'll have to restart. And then I'm like, well, there goes, you know. 40 minutes of my life um, <laughs> and some people really love it and it's just not for me. So when things weed really easily like this is right now and like the other one didn't cut properly um, because I had to fix my blade. This is just a dream come true where I'm spending like three minutes. Yes, Casey, I made my ears. Thank you so much. Oh, I can't even tell you this is like the most satisfying thing ever. Like, not the actual weeding part, but just being able to take it off. Also, um, I use, I'm going to, how do I do this? I don't want to. You can say, you can change it, do what you need. Okay, there we go. Um, I also use a lint roller to put my small pieces of vinyl. So if you could see, this is what my design looks like so far. And I'm just going to take out the tiny pieces and I'm just going to put them right onto my my lint roller because mm -hmm. they get literally everywhere. I'll go back. Yep. To the Good night, Ryan. Thank you so much for being here, Rye Guy. Rye Guy is awesome. Well, so that didn't cut all the way for whatever reason. I know. That's the most frustrating thing to me. Like, if I don't put my... some, It's a lot of times me putting in my blade incorrectly. Like, I didn't push it down far enough or... Um, yeah. Also, it's 9.58 already, so I'm, Ross, yep. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go over at least a few minutes because I want to at least finish one thing. Sure. It's going to be... It's like my Peter Pan... Guys, I have not been on it this year. Also, I want to apologize. Like, I have not put out an edited video yet. Um, If I'm being really honest, this year has been um, a tough start for me, so I am... I have had plans to put out a video. I just haven't had the motivation to get up and film what needed to be filmed. Um, so hopefully that'll come out very soon. Hopefully February I'll have more videos out, but I'm so sorry. I know you guys don't really care that much. 
because you like watching the live streams, but I, I don't want to disappoint anyone. So I felt like I've disappointed some people. Um, but yeah, you know, life comes first. <laughs> yeah. Instead of YouTube. <laughs> and the cricket is very therapeutic. So if anyone is having a hard time and they just need to spend some time creating and making things, by all means, get yourself one of these. It is amazing. Stacey, thank you so much for the reminder. Yes, Stacey, um, Kat, I think I told you that the other day in your stream. I was like, yep, I think I pretty much took off the whole month. Um, I mean, obviously I stream on Mondays. I try very, very hard not to cancel them. Um, like I try, like <laughs> very, very hard. Um, and if, if uh, anyone talks to me regularly outside of the streams, you know that I try very hard not to cancel them. Um, but yes, I pretty much took off the whole month of January. Um, I've been doing YouTube for almost three years and it's okay to take some time to do that. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, Stacy, you had said Meg's magical moment. Thank you for the reminder, Stacy. Um, also, oh yeah, I, hold on. Yeah, you can my transfer tape that I'm gonna use. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm cheating and using scissors. <laughs> okay. I cheat all the time uh, in crafting. Not in, in not in real life. I want to clarify. That was like the other day where I'm like, um, I had made the joke. You guys know I never, ever make jokes. Um, I had said because I have dyed red hair that sometimes it looks like I've murdered someone in my shower. And I was like, maybe that wasn't the best joke to make. And then I was like, I just want to clarify that um, I did not <laughs> murder anyone. <laughs> Like, I just want to throw that out there just in case anyone didn't know <laughs> I was joking. Mm -hmm. um, but Stacey had said, Meg's Magical Moment. I do want to have um, a huge shout out to my very, probably my one of my very, very best friends um, in this Disney community. Um, also outside of the community. He's truly, truly amazing. Um, Patrick from Zibbity Judad. Patrick is the type of friend and the type of person. Um, he literally, like, almost every day will send me a message saying, how's Meg doing? <laughs> and it's so, so wonderful to have a friend who sends you a message like that almost every day. And I don't want you guys to go check out Patrick's channel because he's, you know, talented and funny and and really insanely entertaining but i do want you to check out his channel because he's an amazing person and he's a really incredible friend and i think that he should be known for that even more so um than his incredible talent and entertain and entertainment quality um so i'm just very grateful to have a friend like patrick um and i'm just want to say thank you to him um, for always being so kind and asking how I'm doing and go check out Zibbity Doodad rather subscribe to Zibbity Doodad because he's the best um, really truly an amazing family I'm so lucky to have gotten to meet them in person several times and um, he really is like a brother to me so Patrick you rock thank you for everything that you do I was thinking about it all day today I was like I can't wait for Patrick to hear that I was going to talk about him. Okay. Guys, I finished something in a live stream. Wow. And then I'm thinking I'll probably do some other kind of design um, around here. But that's what mine turned out. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. That's my coaster. I'm going to coat it with polycrylic. Um, I might do a little bit of painting. Um, might go in with like, you know, those farmhousey, you know, leaves, um, maybe on the bottom and on the top. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy Russ is doing something on, on this screen. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm, I'm working on mine and that's I'm not, okay. I can't see the stream at the moment. So no, that's okay. I just saw the color changing and I was like, Oh, that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I, Finally did after an hour and four minutes. To be fair, I was a little late. <laughs> I blame Steve. Um, but 
I don't know. I'll probably do a little bit extra on it. Um, I did want to do what a keychain, but I guess we're out of time. Maybe, maybe on the next one, uh, cause Russ is actually going to be doing a stream on his channel. Russ actually has a, a channel, which is linked down in the description below down, down there. Um, and so Russ, we go live Saturdays at three o'clock Eastern time. Yes. And what is our uh, topic going to be? Sorry, my brain is just like working. <laughs> today. What is that word? Um, what is the topic going to be on Saturday's cricket stream? So we're going to be working on a, a specific project and we're going to make stickers, vinyl, well, vinyl or just regular stickers either way. Um, so I think what I'm going to end up doing. And if you want to do this with us, all you will need is your Cricut, obviously. Uh, you will need a printer, uh, be able to print on your paper, uh, and then you will need sticker paper. Um, and uh, either regular sticker paper or vinyl sticker paper, whichever way. And make sure that it's designed for your printer, um, because otherwise it won't work. Um, Ooh, and then I think what I'm going to do is design and set up some just basic designs and I will put them in my description of my video or of my stream so that you can download them ahead of time. I usually set up my streams on Thursdays, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, and uh, you'll see, you'll be able to get those those files. Now, um, these materials that they might need, can they get them off of Amazon? Can they get them at Joanne's, Michael's? You can, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let me see. Then we'll present Russ so he could show us exactly what we'll need for a sticker stream. Oh, I got this from Amazon. I just got it today. Um, I think it was Ooh. maybe twelve dollars, twelve fifteen dollars on Amazon. Um, so that's what I have. And again, I have a laser printer, so mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you have you get the right kind. Um, so these this is this this is set up for just basic vinyl stickers that you can cut on the on your crew. So, Russ, you want to know what's so funny? Is what? I got the same brand. But mm -hmm. matte sticker paper. Did you? Yeah. So I'm already on. I, I didn't even know that he was going to show that that brand. I, I read a lot of reviews. Um, I'm one of those people that read a lot of reviews. Um, so I had actually heard really good things about that. And in, and compared to the, um, I hear a lot about online labels, waterproof um, stickers. Um, I also use, have been, well, I'm dabbling in sticker making. Lena, hello, welcome. Um, I've been using the Avery self laminating sticker sheets. Um, so like I said, I'm dabbling. I'm not a pro. I don't sell any of the things. Here, here's another, this will be for the, for an inkjet. Okay. So, I mean, you can, you know, you can go to Avery's website or you can go to Staples or, you know, anywhere and type in that code five, three, five, three, and they'll be able to find it. So Ooh. guys, we learned so much. I learned so much. I cannot wait for Saturday stream. I can also not wait. Can I also cannot wait. Sorry. <laughs> I can also, I also cannot wait for more cricket streams. Um, I, <laughs> Chris says, I read reviews for everything, even $10 or less a hundred percent. Cause every dollar counts. Every dollar counts. Stacy uh, already found the sticker paper. So Stacy is a pro Stacy. Thank you for all you do. <laughs> um, guys, Thank you so much, Russ. Thank you for taking the time yeah. to explain crickets to us. Um, I know for everyone in the chat, it was a lot of information all at once. <laughs> More Jiminy streams, yes. <laughs> we'll be making it happen. Yeah. Now I need um, to make. Now I need to make a label for it. Yes, Jiminy. Yes, or a sticker. Yeah, or we can make a sticker. Yes. That's um, what we'll do. That's what we'll do. We'll make a Jiminy Cricket sticker. Yeah, no, I think that's a really good plan. Um, <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here. For the members, I will be posting a link to um, the. I will. I'll post a link to the the stream for the painting night. I'll also send out some information about what you might need and the picture that I'm thinking about doing. Um, so Friday at five o'clock Eastern time, if you can make it, that's amazing. If not, you'll be able to catch the replay of uh, the paint night. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. I'm hoping to get out an edited vlog. I actually. Um, did a DIY over the weekend, which I'm super excited about because if you're like me, you're always losing your scrunchies. And so I made a three material scrunchie holder. Um, yeah, I have that trouble a lot. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> just like how I said I shed everywhere with red hair on my cricket mats. I lose scrunchies. I, that's a huge problem for me though, losing scrunchies. Um, so Russ, what do you have coming up on your channel? Um, well, other than Saturday, um, and it's not necessarily on my channel, but I will hype it because you're supposedly a part of this too. Uh, Tuesday, tomorrow at three on Team, Team Marie's okay. channel, uh, we do book club. And so we're reading along um, together. We're on chapter eight so far of uh, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, uh, Ian Fleming. Having a lot of fun with that. So if you want to read along and catch up with us and hang out with us. Um, other than that, it's just Saturday. Um, I'm also working on some more Lego projects. If you haven't checked those out before, um, I do Lego shorts and uh, they're a lot of fun. So doing, I'm, I'm dabbling in stop motion and uh, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah. It really is so cool. If you guys haven't checked out any of the stop motion videos, they're very short. Mm -hmm. um, they're awesome. Yeah, they're just a minute long. So yeah, I am a huge fan of stop motion animation. Um, anything stop motion, it's just I think it's the most talented thing that anyone could do. Um, I heard you mention earlier how you have long red hair all around. I have the same problem, but those long hairs are silver and sometimes hard to see and pick out. <laughs> ah, yes, I uh, I shed everywhere. <laughs> Cases I have cats; they find my scrunchies. <laughs> then you don't lose them, but I lose them all the time. I lose a lot of stuff, but thank you guys so much for watching. Michelle, thank you for being here. Um, thank you everyone in the chat for being here. Please make sure to head over to Russ's channel over on Saturday. 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 Well, and I was also going to say, if anybody has a cricket and wants to join us on screen, yes. send me a message and we'll get you on as well. Cause um, you know, the more the merrier will help, you know, it's easier to, talk face to face and ask questions than to be doing reading chat, you know, doing all of it. And so I think that if we have more people to ask those questions, we can learn a little faster. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. just, yes, or, yes. Or, or I just read and then everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Reads. Cause this took me an hour today. It right. normally doesn't take me that long. Cause normally it's just me and I'm not talking to yeah. myself. Well, but I, I would have probably had this done too, if we weren't asking questions, yeah. but that's totally great. I mean, I, that's I, what I, happens I, when Steve and I paint or when we do makeup or face painting, but mm -hmm. it's fun. Nonetheless, yeah. um, Russ, thank you so much for being here. Everyone in the chat. Thank you so much. A huge shout out to Patrick Zibbity doodad. Thank you for all that you do. Um, and of course go check out Pete McDevitt in his hot seat. Um, don't blame me, Pete, if you're going to end up watching the replay, uh, it's going to be a fun one. So, uh, Friday night, painting night um saturday russ's cricket stream and patrick is doing a fun live stream with uh pj tomorrow so make sure to check that out 7 p.m i'll see you guys next week have a wonderful rest of your week remember stay positive we're gonna get through this and i will see you guys real soon